Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic in halo alkane and arene that is SN2 reaction. It's nothing but so two means a bimolecular and N means nucleophilic, S means substitution reaction. So bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction, we have to come from the reverse. So here one degree alkane halides or reacts very faster when compared to two degree and three degree. And it is a single step process. In SN1 we talk about that. Uh, it is a two step process. There will be a intermediate of carbocation is produced. After that the nucleophile will come and attack to form a product. But in this case only one step process. It is a single step process. Here the strong nucleophile is required. Why here strong nucleophile is required? Because it entirely depends on the <coughs> nucleophile as well as this thing that is a substrate here the strong nucleophile will able to attack directly this carbon and this Br- will leaves off okay but in the case of the SN1 there is a 3 degree alkyl halide is there that's what some spheric hindrance is there that's what the OH- will not able to attack directly to this carbon but here OH- will able to attack directly that is what here the nucleophile strength must be needed. So nucleophile should be very very strong. And here we use a very aprotic solvent. Why is called as aprotic solvent? Does not give H plus A to that. In SM1, we talk about that. If we use a protic solvent, the protic solvent will cleave this Dr minus as HBr or HCl like that. So it will goes off. But in this case. It will not move on its own. So we have to attack with the nucleophile. The nucleophile will able to remove this Br minus. So it depends on the rate of reaction. That is the rate of reaction R O R. Depends on both. That is substrate as well as nucleophile. That is what it is. SN2 reaction. That is. It, rate of reaction depends on both substrate as well as nucleophile. That is what may be called as a SN2 reaction. Now we can solve about the reaction. Here there is a 1 degree alkyl halide. We take out a 1 degree alkyl halide. How will we find out the degree? As you know that very well. If you don't know about this, you watch my previous video, you get good idea. So here Br is there. This is a functional group. Functional group attached to the carbon. That is uh, two hydrogens are there. Only one carbon is there. That is what is 1 degree alkyl halide I am taken and here the very important thing nucleophile will come and attack only from the back side because the friend side there may be a repulsion is there so it can come and attack from the back side now what will be the product what we are getting here it is a one step process here there is no intermediate is formed there is no carbocation is formed here so how we can absorb likewise so here the OH is getting attached with this this carbon and here we have H, hydrogen, if you consider it is as CH3, here it is Br, so the Br will be like this, this is the intermediate. Now, the OH attachment of OH- minus and cleavage of this Br- minus will be taken place simultaneously, this is what it is called as a single step process. Now, what I am getting the product, here the product is OH, CH, and here H and here it is CH3. Now we can name the product. What is the name of the compound? This is a bromoethane. Bromoethane. Because the two carbon is there. Bromoethane. What about this one? It is ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol. Or it may be called as ethanol. Now we can say. So and uh, talk about that. The very important thing. Uh, here, why it does uh, OH- will come and attack directly? Because it doesn't attack directly actually. It attack only from the back side. Why it has happened? Because that is what the strong nucleophile is required. The strong nucleophile will be able to come and attack it. Because why it attacks? Because here there is no steric hindrance. The hydrogen atoms are very very small in size when compared to CH3. So that it can come and attack directly from the back side. It can remove this Br-. Here why it is rate of reaction depends on both. Because the, how much the strong of nucleophile, so it can come and attack. So that much according to that the Br- leaves. So how fast it come and attack, so how strong it will come and attack, so it can 
removes accordingly. According to that rate, only it will remove. So that is what it will be called as a rate of reaction. It depends on both substrate as well as nucleophile. So that is called as a SN2 reaction. And the very important thing is that only inversion of configuration is occur. Why it is inversion? As you know that this is a BR. So this carbon, which is a spatial arrangement, is different here now. So here BR will be attached in the right side of the carbon, but here O which will be attached in the left side of the carbon. So this is called the inversion product. So inversion product I am getting. Are you able to understand? Here one degree. So it's a, let's we see the small recap. Like one degree alkyl halide what we used, and uh, it's a single step process. Strong nucleophile is retired. A protic solvent we use. Why we use A protic solvent? Then only the Br minus will not come on its own. So we have to use this nucleophile to attack and we have to remove this Br minus. And uh, here once the process the product is formed here. So only inversion of configuration occur. Why does inversion of configuration occur? It always attacks from the back side. That's what only we can get inversion of configuration. But in the case of SN2, SN1, why it... Uh, uh, inversion as well as the retention of configuration occur because there there will be a formation of carbocation. The carbocation may be attacked from the front side or can attack from the back side. But here there is only chance it can it should attack from the back side. That's what we get only inversion product. And rate of reaction depends on both the substrate as well as nucleophile. That is what is SN2 reaction. I think so you understand very well. So please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please go forward it to others too those who get benefited uh, by this uh, videos thank you so much for watching thank you so